Hey guys, Mr. Jams here with another tutorial today. We're going to learn the basics of web modding in Opera GX. Let's jump right in. Head over to Opera GX's modding page on GitHub and click the green code button to download the zip file. After you have the zip file downloaded, extract the contents and head into the documentation folder. Now you can either drag the template folder out of this folder or copy it and paste it elsewhere. Head into the template folder and open up the web modding folder. Here you will see the CSS file we will use for Opera. Head back to the folder we extracted earlier and navigate to the mods folder. Open up GXBoy and enter the CSS folder. We are going to use these two files as a base to web mod Discord. Copy and paste them into the web modding folder in our template project. Go ahead and open the files in your code editor. This is probably going to look really intimidating, so I'm going to change the format to be a little more readable. I created a new CSS file called Modified Colors that is a condensed version of Change Colors. The original author included very helpful comments about what each line of code does, so I tried to keep them neatly grouped together. You can now safely delete the Change Colors CSS file, and we will take a look at the default Discord view for this mod. Here you can see all of the transparency of chat boxes and windows, as well as the color scheme and background image. Head over to your extension manager and load the unpacked version of our template mod. Once it loads, you will see the theme colors change, and we can head to Discord to compare the changes there. Notice the transparency and the wallpaper stayed the same, but the colors changed with our new theme. Pick out some new theme colors that you'd like for your mod. Open up your manifest.json file from the template folder and plug in your new color values in the theme section. Now navigate to the page styles section of the file. Here we will add the code that allows our files to work on Discord. Carefully copy the exact section I have highlighted and then add a comma behind this curly brace. Go ahead and paste what we just copied. Now we need to reference both of our CSS files here. Then change where it says Opera to Discord. This ensures that our CSS files will be read when we are on Discord's website. We can head to Discord now to see the default Discord look and then compare it to the modified version we just set up. Clicking this refresh button in your extension manager will update the unpacked mod we previously loaded and allow us to view the changes we made. Now that we have some theme colors picked, let's go play around with the other options and add our own wallpaper to this mod. I have this PNG in my wallpaper folder that I used as my browser wallpaper. I'm going to quickly update my wallpaper reference and then grab some colors to play around with Discord. For the CSS file, we will use RGB format to update the colors. There are other background color options and default colors just below this section that you can use. Feel free to read the descriptions for each of these settings. I'm going to scroll down to the font settings and pick some new colors to display here. If you use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy or paste, the document might try to automatically correct its format. If that happens, hit Ctrl Z once and it should undo the format change, but keep what you pasted. If you are having trouble, you can just type the numbers in. There are many options in the advanced category that focus on blur or transparency. The closer the number is to one, the less blurred or transparent it will be. Here I made some slight edits to the scroll bar and chat box transparency values. Play around with any of these to find the style that you like. In order to add a custom Discord background, I uploaded my wallpaper to Imgur and we can open this image in its own tab to copy the link. Then head to the top of the main.theme CSS file and enter your link in this URL element. The colors CSS file references the variable we just changed as the Discord background. After updating the mod, you can see we now have our custom Discord background. That just about covers it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments what type of mods you want to make for Discord or any other website. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to comment if you have any questions. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and smack that little bell harder than a whack-a-mole. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.